Welcome to another episode of Just Scrapping By, the YouTube channel where we find value in some of the most commonly thrown away electronics. In today's episode we will be scrapping a computer monitor, manufactured by ViewSonic, to see what valuable components can be found within. The model of the computer monitor is VA1930WM. It took us about half an hour to disassemble and another 45 minutes to depopulate the circuit boards. So let's get into the project. To access the circuit boards within the monitor, first remove the two screws at the bottom. Once you have removed the screws, use a flat edge such as a chisel or screwdriver to unsnap the plastic around the edge. With the back panel removed, we can see two circuit boards. To get these circuit boards out, remove the seven screws holding them to the frame. We can also access the power board which looks like it has some decent components on it. Now that we have our three circuit boards, let's depopulate them and see what we are able to salvage. We removed 25 electrolytic capacitors from the circuit boards. Although the salvage value is not the best on these capacitors, we can still definitely sell them for profit. Not even a quarter. This small handful of ceramic capacitors is not even worth 25 cents. The moral of the story, if you do not need them for a specific project, do not bother removing them. We removed one 0.33 microfarad film capacitor from the computer monitor. We will try not to spend the $1 and salvage all in one place. We removed 5 inductors from the device. We got a reading of 1 millihenry and 0.25 millihenry from the toroidal inductors, but we cannot get a reading from the other 3 components. We know they are inductors, we just can't figure out what their value is with our basic testing bench. We removed a standard 9 millihenry choke inductor. These are very useful inductors and we will definitely find a use for this. In total we salvaged almost $7 in inductor components. We removed two inverter transformers from the computer monitor. These small transformers are $6 each to buy, so we are definitely interested in selling them. We also removed three other transformers from the device. Although they aren't really valuable. We can still list them for sale to recoup some of our costs. We only found two integrated circuit chips in the monitor. There was the PT230OD amplifier chip as well as an 817D optocoupler chip. There were only two MOSFET components in the device. We removed two shot key barrier MOSFETs as well as an N channel MOSFET and a rectifier. We removed one large resistor, as well as a thermistor and a varistor. These components are not very profitable to remove, but are very useful in many projects. There were two simple diodes in the computer monitor. These diodes are cheap and can be found anywhere. But they are also versatile. We will add them to our drawer of diodes, or throw them in a bulk salvage package for sale. This is how you can tell when a manufacturer wants you to replace your device instead of make simple repairs. The monitor had two fuses inside but they are the type that are soldered to the circuit board. They are not very valuable and we will not be keeping them. There were some ports that we removed from the monitor. The useful ports are a power port, a video port, VGA port, and a barrel jack for audio. We always keep spare ports in our component inventory because they fail often due to being damaged by device users. The last two small components we removed were a crystal oscillator and a simple transistor. We also removed about half a dozen ferrite rings. If we take all of the components we salvaged from the View Sonic computer monitor and add the value of the scrap circuit boards and scrap steel, we get a total value of $52.58 in salvage. Now that we have the total amount of salvage from the device, we can check out the profitability. The device took half an hour to disassemble and another 45 minutes to depopulate. If we take the total salvage value and subtract the purchase cost of the device as well as our labor, 
we can make a maximum profit of $32.82 if we sell everything. We would need to sell about $19 in salvage in order to break even on this project. So the question is, was scrapping this device worth it? If you were to obtain the device for free, or for at least less than $10, you would make a profit. There are not many components in the device, but the device can be disassembled very quickly. There is very little leftover waste to dispose of after the monitor has been taken apart, and the components remove very easily from the circuit boards. For the VIEW Sonic VA1930WM computer monitor, we give it a scrapping grade of C+. Thank you for watching our video and remember to subscribe to our channel to see more great tutorials on how to turn the old into gold.